And as if by magic, we've caught the Scotland manager, Steve Clark. This Steve, congratulations, fantastic result. My first question is though, how did you wear a jumper for the whole of that match? <laughs> and you're not wearing it now. <laughs> <laughs> I worry about sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> so Very it's cautious. Just to keep the, the top on rather than try and slave yourself in sun cream. Obviously, factor 50 on my napper. Factor 50 on your napper. But, but it, no, it, was, it was hot. So credit to both sets of players. But I think they put on a good good show. It was a good game. Uh, and nice to get the three points. Yeah, and credit credit to your team. How, how do you feel they executed the, the game plan you sent them out with? It was good. Obviously, disappointed to lose the penalty. Ryan tells me it's soft. I haven't... Genuinely haven't watched it back. I've only watched our goals, which were pretty decent. Uh, so you, you'll probably tell me it was a penalty. Uh, and we recovered well from it. We, we, we recovered well, changed the shape a little bit, got ourselves forward and managed to nick the three points with two late goals. Steve, I just want to ask about that. You know, obviously, at that point, 1-0 down, you changed to the back four, it looked like you got John McGinn, trying to get that little bit higher up. What was the message you were sending on to the team at that point? We didn't want to lose. Don't want to lose. Don't want to lose one now. Uh, we've worked really hard to put ourselves in a good position after the March games. We came here and said, probably for Norway was a must-win game. For us, it was a must-not lose. So we had to chase it down. And the most pleasing thing for me as a head coach is when I turn to my bench, I'm putting on quality players yeah. and quality players that can make a difference. And that's what they did. I just said, Steve, when you see your team, discipline, loyalty, your way of playing, you can see the face, how you want them to play. But that to give that togetherness, that loyalty, when you 1-0 down here, brilliant atmosphere, Norwegian, and then they take off two or three players. Are you thinking that is a signal for you or it doesn't matter? I don't think it matters because the players were taking off of giving their all. They're fatigued. You're looking for fresh legs on the pitch. And don't forget the Tartan Army were there as well, 2,500 Scottish fans. The players can hear them, the players want to do well for them, they want to do well for their country. And they just keep going, unfortunately, tonight. I'm just thinking of the Norwegian changes. They took off Haaland, they took off Sirlot. Yeah, but that's, that's the decisions that head coaches have to make. And if you get, if you get them right, you, you get all the praise. Like, I might get, maybe I'll get a little bit of praise. <laughs> unfortunately for... Stolly is going to get a little bit of criticism. That's that's part of the job. That's, Robbo spoke about that. He felt that when they went off, even though they were one 0 up, they kind of sat back a little bit, which had given you his opportunities to then drive forward. You then change the formation. John gets higher, and then things open up. Of course, I, I, I think. Listen, goals change games. Of course, goals change games. So when they're one 0 up, they're looking at the clock. It's running down. Ten minutes. Ten minutes on. We've all done it. We've all done it. You drop in. You drop onto the the defensive line. You sit deep. You try and soak up the pressure. But fortunately for us, we just kept passing the ball, kept passing the ball, moving the ball, and, and got, got the equaliser, and then immediately got the second. Which <laughs> There's was, a real belief, a though, isn't there, within this squad now? Complete, I mean, oh completely, my, completely. It's, it's unbelievable. No, it's good. It's, it's something we've been building, we've been trying. Uh, we spoke before the game about don't waste the six points that we got in March. You know, you beat Spain as a big result. Yeah. But to capitalise on that, you need to get, come, come to the June games and get more points. So that's three. Told the players, rest, recover, get yourself in a nice bath, cool down, and we go again Tuesday night for three more. See the contrast, obviously, I was talking to the, the captain about this from last year, coming into the end of the season games, and obviously John Carver was talking about it as well, having learnt from it. Was, what was it that was done different? You did the training camp Andy was talking about, and how much was that emphasised about capitalising on March's results and making sure that it wasn't a, you know, the, the same as last year in Dublin? We worked a little bit on... The mentality, mentality changed rather than I think last year we maybe focused a little bit because there was a big gap between the end of the season for some of them in the, the game against Ukraine. We worked a little bit more on the physicality, thinking we could get them fit, but you can't do that. It's the end of a long, hard season. So this time we just focused a little bit more on the mentality. Did, did some work in Spain. It wasn't, wasn't really physical. It was good. We had the majority of the squad there, which was good. And then obviously we get together, we do the tactical stuff this week, but we, we just prepared as if it was a normal week in season. And obviously we got rewards. If you can I ask you, Steve, seeing a bit from outside, as a, as a coach, you will work on training things, you do your tactics and everything, but that togetherness, do you do that discipline as well? Do you do that? Do you use your player, your leaders, your captain to get that togetherness? Because I must say, I, I, these boys and you guys have seen, I've seen the team so many times, but I'm so impressed by the togetherness in this, this group of players you have. It's just something that's developed over a period of time. Obviously, when you're winning matches, and we're, we're on, we're on a seven competitive wins, which is good. Uh, before we went to the Euro 2020, we were on a run of nine competitive wins. So when you're winning and the boys are coming together, they, they, they enjoy coming together. The atmosphere within the camp this week is, 
was actually frightening me a little bit. They were so happy and so <laughs> relaxed. I'm thinking, come on, guys, come on. There's a big a couple of big games coming up, but that's what we've got. And long may it continue. Long may it continue. You go again on Tuesday, Steve. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Thanks very much.